SMT Nation, we back. We're doing some speed testing here, some network testing. And we're doing Verizon and AT&T and Dish. And I don't think I want to do T-Mobile here because I think this is just a Sprint Keep site. Or not a Sprint, an unconverted former Sprint site. Uh, T-Mobile, I think, is on the other side of the freeway or something. I don't know uh, exactly where they are here, but... AT&T is at the top. I've tested the site before. Uh, there's your Sprint right below it, and then below that is Dish. And then uh, there's some... Wait, what is that? <laughs> I don't even know. Is that... Actually, I don't know. That might be old T-Mobile. That's just not upgraded. It's an old site. Maybe they're not upgrading. And then Verizon's right below it, and you can see the N77 there. Anyways, um, let's start with Dish, actually. I don't usually start with Dish. Uh, but I want to show you guys some native dish here. Uh, we are connected to NR5G. We probably got 10 megahertz of N71. Yep, there it is, N71, 10 megahertz bandwidth. And then we also have, I think N66 should be active, 20 megahertz of N66. And it's not running. <laughs> Go! I don't know if it's Ookla or if it's the network, but uh, some may write. Okay, finally... All right, throughput looks good. So far, so good. And it failed. Okay, that's not good. All right, let's try one more time. I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's the app or if it's the connection. 48 ping, three jitter. Got good downlink, <laughs> keeps failing. Okay, um, sheesh. I don't even know what to do here. Uh, let's try fast.com. Let's see if that one will be successful. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and start the Verizon test too, right here. Mm. There you go, 29 ping, 3 jitter. This was one of the first Verizon sites I actually tested back uh, earlier this year, January. All right, so what do we got here? 200 down on fast.com, Verizon's cooking, 495 down. Look at that uplink, absolutely wonderful. 102 megabits per second. Uh, that's good stuff. Checking out the capacity. Probably a one gig circuit there. I don't know if it's a 10 gig circuit, it might be. Could be a lot of traffic on it. There's your fast.com for dish. All right, you got about 25 uplink, so 200 by 25. Okay, it's not bad, right? And actually, you know what we'll do? We'll speed test. Uh, we'll speed test first net, and then we'll also speed test the Death Star. We'll do both. Why not? All right. So I'm just switching over the data, and then we could test that. Turn off the Verizon line. We don't want to steal bandwidth. All right. Let's see if first net is connecting to 5G plus N77 C band for AT&T. Let's see. All right. 69 ping. That's how you know you're on first net when the pings are high. All right, 21 jitter. Yep, we are connected to 5G plus. First net by AT&T. All right, we got 360, 364 megabits per second downlink. Uplink looks pretty good too. About 36, 37. I don't know, something about AT&T and the Cleveland market, the uplink is just not very good. Like compared to T-Mobile or Verizon who are typically much faster double sometimes triple the speed 364 down 36 up all right so now that we got that actually let's do one more and uh then we'll do the at&t like proper access i still don't understand why the dish thing why that app is failing on dish let me close that out and i'm gonna i'm gonna try that again all right all right so i just reset the app hopefully it works connecting to native dish project genesis Okay, so I think this is a true test. That failed again. Oh, God. 39 ping, 3 jitter, 368 down, 35 up. All right. I, like I said, guys, I, I can't tell you with certainty what the business is there, but uh, the app is failing. That's, that's for sure. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it's working on the other stuff, the other carriers. Eee. All right, let's go ahead and test AT&T proper. So there was your 
first snap by AT&T numbers, 368, 35, ping at like 39. Let's go ahead and test this. Let's give this a go. This is um, this is QCI 7, AT&T postpaid. Why are we on an LTE? Huh. Holy moly. What? You guys ever see 423 downlink on AT&T's LTE network? Holy moly. 23 ping, 8 jitter, 423 down. 80 up. Ooh. Wow, LTE is cooking with gas. Let's see if that's repeatable. I don't even think their 5G Plus can do this. 40 ping, or uh, 40 megabit uplink. Wow. Those are records for me. I've never seen AT&T's LTE network do that. I've, I've seen it teeter around 300. Wow. Look at that uplink, though. What? I wonder if it's because they uh, freed up some spectrum or something or gave it a backhaul boost. I don't know. 386 down, 77 up, 23 ping, 6 jitter. 386 down on LTE. Wow. Up, oh, it just switched to 5G+. Plus. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's test it. It did it for me. So it was in 5G mode. I thought maybe I made a mistake. Maybe the iPhone's modem was just being screwy. Maybe the icon was just being bad. Maybe maybe that was the 5G+. Plus. Oh, wait, it's back in LTE. What is happening here? You guys ever see this from the iPhone? This is an iPhone 14 Pro Max. I did just update the software earlier this week. I wonder if there that might be a factor. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. 441 down, 73 up. Wow, man. All right, only one way to, to be for sure, and that's to put it into LTE. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to the cellular settings. 5G was on. See? 5G on. Let's go ahead and put that into LTE now. Okay. And we'll test. Wow, oh, that's pretty nuts. Yeah, I just think maybe the icon was being funny. Wow. I really thought the LTE was doing that. I've never seen LTE do that except on Verizon with CBRs. That's pretty much it. Good stuff, though. Still very good LTE speed. 30 ping, 2 jitter, 176 down. Got like 46, 47 up. That's still pretty good. Very, very nice. All right, good stuff. Uh, like I said, I came here to test the dish. Uh, we kind of got that, and then I, we tested the Verizon and AT&T because they got upgrades here. Pays to be on 5G, folks. It really does. You know what? Let's let's go back to the Verizon and test it for LTE. Why not, right? I mean, we're here. Let's see if it's any good. Let me just move over the line. All right, the Verizon line is on, and I got the data on. Let's turn off the AT&T access. And let's go ahead and let's put the Verizon into 5G. Wait, we need to add a 5G. We need an LTE. Okay, so here it is. 5G was on. Let's go into LTE and give it a go. We'll see if it's any good. I don't see any CBRS gear up there. I don't see CBRS radios or antennas. So we're probably connected to maybe... Unless it's in shrouded, it's like just the radio somewhere, maybe. Uh, actually, you know what? I can check on my Pixel. See what bands we're connected to. Uh, 35 megahertz. 224 down, 37 up. 39 ping, 3 jitter. This is what it says it's connected to. 5 megahertz of band 2. 10 megahertz of Probably band 5 or band 13, one or the other. And then 20 megahertz of band 66. Giving you that. That's pretty damn good, actually. For 35 megahertz of bandwidth. Yeah, that's probably a 10 gig circuit up there, buddy. Yeah. yeah and you can see that N77 is carrying the mail. 
keeping those LT channels, you know, clear. Oh, yeah, and look out for the content. Um, Verizon Internet Gateway. Just got the Verizon 5G home. Um, I'll be doing some testing of that, too. 227 down, 38 up, 40 ping, 6 jitter. Good stuff from Verizon on the LTE side. Nobody takes care of LTE and 5G like Verizon here. T-Mobile's got good 5G here. Uh, their LTE is an afterthought. AT&T does really good LTE too, but when you got the CBRS going, you know, Verizon can't be beat. Yeah, but AT&T's LTE is legendary too. Anyways, what do you guys think of the testing? I know, long video. Thanks for sticking it out, watching the content. Like, share, and subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for all things going on with the channel. Big shout out to the members and big shout out to the Patreon supporters. Thank you guys for all that you do. Y'all are the goats. Words of positivity as we head out this video. Every new day is an opportunity to be great. Go out there and be great. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.